Hi, welcome. Sally Galvin, entrepreneur, Australian representative and ambassador for mental health awareness. I'm here today to speak with Jacqueline Cuckoo. Jacqueline is an expert in mindfulness and mental health awareness in children and she is a teacher at the local school and she has implemented mindfulness and mind fitness meditation into the local school um, and has had astounding results. So if any of you guys have seen our earlier post, I posted this morning, today, tonight's example of mindfulness meditation and in children in schools, this is, this is the lady. How blessed am I to have got Jacqueline in here today to cover what we are going to cover so we can help you guys or like so we can just anyway you know where I'm at and what I am passionate about and the ripple effect but welcome Jax thanks so <laughs> welcome to our little studio um thanks for all those kind words oh pleasure pleasure it's they are from the heart so Jax what yeah, first of all, um, you are the, an expert in the field. You've had astounding results. Like, what are the results at the school? Um, I think it was mentioned on Today Tonight mm. that we have, our behaviour problems have almost disappeared. We're looking at, um, like Chantel said, less than, we went from two, about 200 suspensions a year to under 20. <laughs> and our detentions are down. And um, it's just a nice place to be. So walking in the playground when you're on duty, it used to be, um, was literally putting out fires. It was crazy. Mm. But now it's just a nice stroll in the sunshine. Mm. You get to talk to the kids. It's, it's mm. nice. It's like yeah. a normal school. Yeah, maybe. Like a, like a, good, a well-functioning <laughs> normal school. And it's just beautiful. That's just lovely. That's so nice to hear. And what is, what is, what have you guys done to do that? So we know it's mindfulness and the mindfulness meditation program you've implemented. How long have you been using it personally? Okay. So um, because I have a background in it, um, I've been doing this with kids for, showing my age now, about 30 years. Um, it's sort of always been my thing. It's, it's been my mm. passion mm. to get kids to understand a bit more about themselves and be able to find that quiet place inside. Mm. So I, I've been at school six years and since I've had my own classroom, I've been doing it. Um, every single lesson. So the kids come in, I'm the art specialist at the moment, art specialist, life skills coach, that's how I like to think of myself. Brilliant. Um, but they come in and like they'll come in from recess and it used to be crazy, you know, there'd be a million kids dobbing and problems, dramas. Um, now they come in, they sit down on my fake grass at the front and they just get ready to be mindful. They just sit and wait and I get my bowl out and we start with it could be it really depends on the kids it could be a one minute meditation it could be three or four and the kids just come from recess and they just mm, and they're ready to start and they take in the instructions better they're kinder to each other and they're more because being mindful isn't just about sitting down and doing meditation yeah it's about being mindful about the way you act the way you treat others and who you are as a person and it's more like um, a way of living so our school culture now since we've been with mindful meditation australia they've helped us take it to a whole school level so all the teachers that are involved and everyone does things their own way in their own times um, but because of that it's given us a framework to make it a culture across the school. That's so it's phenomenal. Yeah, that is it absolutely is. phenomenal, Jax. Do you know um, a difference? I know, like I just sitting here with you, feel your centering, grounded energy, and so, like, how important is that to to instill that, or just to like give the children of tomorrow, like our next generations, the the tools to be able to bring that into all aspects of their life. For their yeah, whole life. Uh, from a young age. That's it's amazing, isn't it? I think the big thing about um, about being mindful, um, you should hear what some of the kids say mm. about it. It's mm. fantastic. But the thing, their comments are like a little year two boy said, it feels like the whole world just slows down. Everything slows down because we're in a very fast-paced mm. yeah, IT world. Sure. But... Um, 
it gives the kids an awareness of this quiet place inside that you don't have when you're watching TV. I know we've mm. talked about this before. Mm. Watching TV, they're still, but their minds are so, so busy. Mm. Mm. When they're being mindful, when they're, they're doing a meditation, no matter how mm. short, it can be mm. three deep mm. breaths, they become very, very still. And there's such a quiet place in start, inside where there's no chatter, there's nothing going on. It's just quiet. And it's actually easier for kids to access than adults mm. because we have the, oh, no, what have we got to do? Oh, I've got to do that. Mm. As soon as it's quiet, mm. our brain yeah, kicks I can, and yep, yep, I kids can. can access it. So first of all, they have an awareness that yeah. there's a quiet place. And then they learn how to access that quiet place. And we're not just doing this once a week or once a month. We're doing it. Um, kids are doing meditations. Some of them three, four times a day at our school. And it can be, as, like I said, as quick as three short breaths. But the more they do it, the easier it is for them to access. So to take that through your life, no matter what stress is happening at home, out there in your job, um, anything. Like you look at road rage. Mm, yeah, absolutely. If you can access that place, these things wouldn't happen. It'd be a different world. Absolutely be a different world. You are so clever in what you are bringing to your uh, school. It's a very old thing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's nothing new, is it? Mm. It's just uh, something that people have known about from the beginning of time, isn't it? Yeah. It is just implementing it and bringing it into, you know, today's society. Yeah, that's right. And the ripple effect, effect from that, Jacqueline, like... So have any of the children spoken, gone home and then maybe discussed it with their mum or dad that may have never had any idea about mindfulness and centred and meditation? Yeah, lots. Have you had? Yeah, yeah we have, have lots of parents coming up. Mm. And we do, a, um, we do a whole school meditation every single Friday. So we'll have a communications assembly wow. or a big, um, our school's quite big, so there's an assembly item every second week. And sometimes we will have more than 100 parents and a few babies oh and little toddlers. Gosh. Everyone joins in. Everyone. It was a bit, you know, it was tricky getting to that place, but everyone's mm. aware of it now. That's just what we do. And everybody joins in. And you've got the proof in the pudding. You've got the results. So you've gone from yeah. how many suspensions a year? More than 200. To how many now? Less than 20, which is great for our school. Thank you so much for coming in today. I'm going to have you back again. <laughs> pleasure oh really how like what where did you guys get anything from that so that is just phenomenal i think that your school is a, like a precedent for what we need in society today this is an important part mm. so mind body and soul i just there's three the pillars of life really aren't they yeah definitely thanks so much very exciting in. and the world's ready for it now it really is thank you so much for coming in thanks